All right, so I'm going to look at the um, difference in variability of the selling prices, which is this first column of a home, whether it has a pool or not. So the first thing you need to do is what I did is I highlighted all of my data and then I went up to data, sort, and I told it to sort by pool. Because if you notice what happens when you sort by pool, then all of these with zeros do not have a pool. And then here with ones has a pool. So it makes it easier to get your data um, into this solver. Then under the data tab, there's a data analysis. If you do not see that button, because it typically will not be there, then you have to go over here to file, down to options, go to add-ins and manage Excel add-ins, click go and just be sure that you have this analysis tool pack checked. Okay, um, it probably will not be checked so be sure you check it and click OK and then it'll show up here. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that and I'm doing an F test of two sample for variances and said to test the variability. I say OK. Now I kind of did this already once, that's why all this stuff's pre-populated. So let me get that out of there. You'll see it like this, blank, variable 1 range. I'm going to make that they did not have a pool. So I click that button, which now allows me to click and drag and select these. Uh oh, went too far. All the ones with zeros, so they did not have a pool. In other words, A2 through A68. Now I'm going to click this button over here to the right to select those with a pool, so the ones. So I click and drag those values. It says, it told you in the problem, the alpha is 0 0.02. And then the output range is just where do you want it to output your results. And you can click anywhere. Okay, so I just clicked on that side and said, sure, that's a good place. And now I click OK and you have your results. Of course, what you're looking at, the two things that you're looking at here is you can get your F statistic. But in this case, um, what's nice is they do give you this P value, this probability. So as you can see, this probability value is certainly um, small. Okay, so we do have a small value here. And if I look at my critical value versus my F, notice that my F is larger than the critical value. So there certainly is a difference in the two selling prices, which you would figure, right? You're going to pay more if you get a pool. And so probably the easiest thing to check is, is my F value in the critical region? And it is.